Hey, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Koa and this is my plant channel. So today we are continuing our Koa's plant care series and I am featuring one of my, again like last time, another one of my favorites uh, from my collection. Again, I have over about 70 house plants and I think that I am um, under counting. I think I'm not counting for the newest plants that I actually got in but I have a, let's say a little over 70. And so this care series would pretty much be the way that I take care of my plants. I know everyone has their own different ways of taking care of their plants, but these are the ways that work for me. And also keep in mind, I am in a uh, very brightly lit room throughout the day. So things will be different for me compared to someone who um, doesn't have the same conditions, but we'll, we'll go over that. We'll go over all of that during this video. So today, Featuring again one of my favorites. Um, this is a plant that I received um, sometime last year. I want to say it was during the summertime as well. I think I'll put the correct date somewhere here on the screen. But I had purchased one, I fell in love with it, and I was like, oh my gosh, I want like 17 of them. And to this day, it is now March 2021, I still want 17 of the same plant. I just find with me, if I find a plant in my collection that I really enjoy and I really love, I'll just get duplicates of it. I'll just get three of them just have them in my room like I don't know why but I just like to see them so before we get started let's go into the four categories we'll talk about we will talk about one the lighting so that um, refers to the lighting that, that the plant is in uh, the lighting that I potentially give it if I have supplemental lighting for the plant two we're gonna go over go over ooh, two we're gonna go over the watering um, and how often I water it and three kind of goes with two. We're gonna talk about the pots. So the pot it's in and how that affects the watering or it doesn't affect the watering. And then four, we'll talk about the soil that it's in. Collectively, these four categories pretty much will explain to you or show you how I care for my plant and what works for it. For me, I guess in my in my instance, this works for um, this works for the plant, the plant's happy. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm sure you can see it here. You can see it. This is my Cebu Blue Pothos, or as my sister would say, Cebu Blue. <laughs> so this is it. Hopefully you can see that. I have it currently. I have it currently on a moss pole, only because at first I had it as a hanging plant. Uh, it was cute. It was fine, but the plant that I got, it just only has like two or three, three or. I think it's like three or four, yeah, like four vines in here. And if you're familiar with the Cedar Blue Pothos, the um, petioles are kind of thin, as well as the stem. I guess for, I don't know, maybe that's, that's not for everyone, but for mine, the petiole and the stems are kind of thin, um, but the leaves are like nice, slim and long. And this is actually part of the Pothos or the Pothos family. A lot of people don't, um, I guess they don't think about it when they think of pothos, they think of the golden pothos or the marble queen or uh, what else do they have? The neon poth pothos, one of my favorites, but this is also a pothos as well. And I have two of these right now. I bought, this was my first one. I chopped it down a little bit. I'm propagating some of the cuttings and it's now growing back. And this is my second one. I just watered it, it looks a little droopy. Let me show you. <laughs> this is her. Hopefully you can see that and I did recently just give it this one a chop as well um, Because I'm trying to propagate it more and hopefully at the end get a bushier plant So let's go into lighting first and foremost So I have two different plants like, like I just said and the lighting varies for both of them So this one I actually have if you're not familiar with my room tour, I think I'm gonna say this every plant care series, but please watch that now, um, not only would I appreciate the extra view and the like, but also just so you can get the layout of my room. Um, I really wouldn't want people to watch this video and say, oh, this, this is a cool plant, let me get one too. But also just be very cognizant that my room is very bright, a lot more brighter than, than many other rooms. I also do have a southwestern facing window, which is like one of the brightest um, directional windows that you can have. So keep that in mind as well. So lighting. This actually gets supplemental lighting. Um, 
I have this one on my nightstand, which is no longer, well, I guess it's a nightstand for plants. So I have a grow light above it, an LG grow light, I believe. And I, it gets maybe about um, six to eight hours of um, extra light uh, on top of my room actually being brightly, um, ooh, on top of my room being brightly lit throughout the day as well. Like I said previously, the sun will come in um, this direction and throughout the day it'll face, it'll start to um, kind of shine on the plants over here a little bit. So in the morning it'll get maybe the, the brightest amount of light and then around the afternoon it'll kind of get a little bit of a medium um, light situation. But this is getting a lot of extra light and I'm giving it extra light because I'm trying to get it to grow faster. But I'm also experimenting with the silverness of the leaves. I feel like a little bit extra light light actually takes away a little bit of the silvery leaves so i'm kind of experimenting with that and just testing out to see what will happen with that okay so for this one again lighting's like that for the watering i water this maybe um maybe once every two weeks again it is winter time so keep in mind that your watering will vary um depending on the temperatures in your house or um if you're like me, third in winter, you would have the heat on. So you may have, you may be watering just as many or just as much as if you were um, watering in the summer because the um, central heating is on, the air is drier, the plant will also dry out faster sometimes. But I water this every two weeks. Um, I normally wait until the leaves droop a little bit, and then that's when I give it a good drink and it's fine. So for the pot, can you hear Kata in the background? I'm, I'm sorry. She's just so loud and unruly. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna briefly interrupt this video just so Kayla can make her entrance. You wanna say hi? You wanna come say hi? She's so weird. Come on. Again, if you see my video, she's um, located right next to my Monstera at Sony Eye. She doesn't wanna come. But Kayla is my bird. Or she is the also, I consider her the mascot of this channel. Come on, Kita, you can say hi. Come on, oh, good girl. Oh, what a good girl, hello. This is Kita, say hi to everyone. Say hi. This is Kita. Yes, yes, hi. Okay, she's gonna be joining us for a little bit. For the pots, so the amount of times that I would water this plant compared to this one here, it varies not only because of the light, but because of the pots they're in, the differences in pots. So this pot is an enteric, this pot, this plant is an terracotta pot. Um, you know, terracotta will make the plant dry out faster because terracotta is very porous um, and the water will evaporate from the pot compared to a ceramic pot where the water can't really evaporate like that unless it's from the top or the bottom of the pot where, where the drainage hole is at. And lastly, the soil. It's in general, a general potting soil. I did put a lot more perlite in it because again, for plants that I really, really super, 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 super love. I love all my plants, but like the plants I don't even want to like mess around with at all. I will take that extra step and putting extra perlite in it. I have some orchid bark in here as well. And regular soil, I'm sure I have some um, cast worm castings in here. Cause I, I don't know, I have some Leca too. So hey, it's in a very um, airy soil mixture. So that's what I have for this one. So, I'm gonna go in over this plant, just water it, so it's a little droopy. Oh, it's very droopy, yeesh. But I just watered it, so hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll perk up <laughs> throughout this video. But again, this is the second Seagull Blue Pothos that I own. Um, this is what they look like. They have very elongated leaves again, and this one's the more silvery um, one compared to the other one I have. So for lighting again for this one, this one actually moves around a lot. So I recently just moved it off of my shelf above my greenhouse, which I'll show a video about that later. The greenhouse, how I put it together, the IKEA greenhouse I have, but it used to be up there where it gets a supplemental lighting situation. It has little, um, I actually installed some LED lighting strips um, um, underneath each shelf and that this plant used to get that type of lighting. But now it is above my bed, the long shelf I have. It sits there with my mykins, my, my um, lime and lime. 
build engine in Brazil and also my neon pothos. So again, if you're not familiar with that, what that layout is, um, I'm gonna put the video in the card somewhere. But yeah, check that out so you can see. I think when I had filmed that video, actually, it was very bright in the morning. I filmed these at around nighttime, so you can't really tell now. But I, and I also have a bunch of lights on, but you'll see then the lighting for that shelf. And it gets pretty good lighting too, um, especially in the morning. So that's lighting for this one. And for the watering, I water this plant, like right now it's super droopy. So you can kind of see, hopefully, hopefully the camera focuses on it, but it's very droopy. And this is when I uh, would water it or give it a good drink. And that's kind of when I would determine whether it's thirsty or not. I used to stick a moisture probe in it, but I think I just, I just gotten better at like noticing the leaves. When they get noticeably droopy, I give it a drink and it's fine. So for, uh, that's for water. I also do the majority of my plants. I do put a little bit of chelated iron in it as well as super thrive and a little bit of fish emulsion depending on um, the plant and if it's growing or not. Compared to this one here, this they're both in terracotta pots, but I actually painted this one with white and gray paint. So it is um, holding in the moisture a lot more than if it was not painted with this regular typical terracotta pot here. So, I also do water it a lot less because the water isn't evaporating as much as it would or as it does with this plant over here. That's it for the pot. And for the soil, again, it's in a very similar soil as the last one. It's in a regular general potting mix soil. I do have some orchid bark in here and it looks like it's heavy and perlite. I don't know if you can tell, but it has a good amount of, um, let me show it this way. It has a good amount of perlite in it. Hopefully you can see that. So it's very well draining. It also has a drainage hole at the bottom. And I actually did recently pot this up from a four inch pot to a Kata. I did recently pot this from a four inch pot to a five inch pot. So my goal is to have this one really grow out and uh, push out new growth and just be my mother plant when I'm taking cuttings and everything. But again, this is, this is the blue pothos or pothos. I don't know how people correctly say that, but I say pothos. Okay, and that's it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Um, I hope that if you don't have a Cebu pothos, like you should please look for one. If you don't have one, please look for one. Um, they're really amazing. The leaves are super pretty and they have the silvery. Whoa, careful. Oh God. Okay. So again, if you don't have a Cebu Blue Pothos, please get one, like you won't regret it. It's a very pretty plant. It's a lot different. The structure of the leaf is different than a regular pothos, the jade. Think of like a jade pothos with skinnier leaves. And if you get it, if you give it a lot of light, I find that the center of the leaf is a little bit darker than the outer rim. It's really cool. I'll post some pictures somewhere because I did do a um, plant appreciation post or a PAP on my, um, Instagram at the time. So I'll post some pictures from that. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below if you have a Cebu Blue Pothos or if you now want one because of this video. Um, I'm really interested to find out. But yeah, again, thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.